See, I always had masterwork weapons, oh. so they were automatically keen. I didn't, no, I didn't really... No? No. What version of D&D do you play? Oh. oh, hey, look, StarCraft. I am MVP. <laughs> I'm MVP. <laughs> I know that guy. All right. He's well, good. I, I've forgotten. I never yeah. used that that weapon quality. It's okay. So. Sorry. Yep. I was a half-elf bard. That was my first D&D character ever. How cool is that? Was that? Hey, but look, this is Keen. Not just a D&D quality. MVP Keen. He's also the same name I just said. Was um. Yeah. Was that where it got like plus one to hit on the first attack or something like no, that? No, it, it increased the crit range, critical strike range. It oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I never Thanks to LG Cinema 3D, Intel and G Skill. Without and you know, them, you wouldn't know anything about D&D. No, you wouldn't. Um, and you know, it's very appropriate because part of the reason why Keen won that battle yeah. was because he had the upgrade advantage. His weapons had more critical strikes he than made, uh, MVPs, and that's what won him some of those major battles going into the mid lane. Uh, made the best uh, decisions the at a critical point. Indeed, in the game. critical point. That's right. Rolled a 20 on that one. <laughs> we play house rolls, we don't even make him confirm it. What? Never mind. D&D 3.5. Oh, Anyone's you don't out? confirm crits? No, no, of course not. Oh, wow. That's lame. That's hardcore. Well, yeah. Oh. More criticals are more fun, man. I guess so. But well, you're uh, one of those guys that was like, page no, 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 no. I, oh. I did that sometimes just to see how things work, but I was not yeah. uh, a rule. I'll call it a rule meister to be a little bit more appropriate. Yeah. Oh, I see V getting seen there. Keen uh, scouting out his opponent's base. Both of these players. Terminus is a huge, huge map right now. Oh, it's a huge, huge map all the time, really. And um, I gotta say, the rotational symmetry of the map does favor Keen a little bit. You just love saying that, don't I you? I do. It's a fun phrase to say because Keen can drop the uh, natural expansions of MVP a little bit easier. Yep. But then again, by the same token, MVP he can, can drop, drop the main, main a little bit easier. Yeah. yeah. So, so maybe it really doesn't matter at all. It might not. Well, it's it depends on what tech it. they go for. Yeah. If they, you know, if one of them goes for drop tech and the other doesn't, they both have expanded. To their natural expansions, their yep. their natural expansion, by the way, for those of you, this is your first time watching StarCraft, the natural is the one that's natural to take because it's closest to your main base. Yep, like the one across the map. You could take that. Wouldn't be too natural. That, wouldn't be, that would be unnatural. The unnatural expansion. And the uh, scout getting chased away, Automaton 2000 looking on with he never helps. apprehension. He it's says, like, what man, am I doing on this map? that robot got attacked by those Marines. Am I, am I safe? What is my purpose? What was I programmed to do? Just wander aimlessly. It's kind of cute, actually, the way it yeah. pads around those little things there. Anyway, uh, SCV is going to try and get back in here, and it's going to get shut down again. So so no scouting, basically, for either player. Factory a little bit out of the way for Keen. That could indicate that he wants to do something with Banshees, possibly, or uh, Blue Flame Hellions. Usually, if it's some of, of the more kind of obvious commentary strategies, you just kind of put the factory out in the middle of nowhere. You don't really care. But the fact that he's, he's not necessarily hiding it, but putting it a little bit out of the way, a little bit tougher to spot. Yeah. Maybe uh, just trying to throw off MVP a little bit. Yep, you might as well do that. You might as well put your factory somewhere where they can't spot it as easily. That's right. Um, and he's now powering up the three barracks and getting his tech lab. So Keen going for his uh, barracks a little bit later. He's going to start to fall a little bit behind in supply at that uh, because of that. But then he'll catch back up when his production Second catches factory up. for Keen. And a starboard. Interesting. I would have to say this is going to be Blue Flame Hellion drop. He has a second factory? Yeah, a second factory going up, I believe. Yeah, I saw him building it. I can't see all the production tab, did it? No, I guess, I don't see I it. guess that was a barracks. Sorry. It was a barracks, yeah. Sorry, yep, it's a barracks. Barracks right. are designed to look like factories to It blend still in. could be a Blue Flame so Hellion drop. Mistake to make. Followed by some Marines as well. Could so. be that. Could be, uh, well, actually, whoa. He's actually putting a reactor oh, a on reactor. that factory, not a tech lab. Never mind. So, could just be switching it over to make mass medevacs early on. Yep. Oh, it could be just like lots of marines. Yeah. Could be. I thought that was. I'm like missing everything today. That's right. The guy puts down a starboard, and I'm like, whoa, a fusion core. Oh. No. No, no, Doa. This is Terran versus Terran. There's no Zerglings on the map. You saw it correctly. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so both players just kind of sitting back, which is a little bit interesting. I would have expected MVP to like maybe put on a little one of them to put on some pressure. I mean, Keen 
essentially won the game in part due to the pressure that he put on MVP no. early on. And MVP's thinking about that because he's sending all of his Marines back in case of a drop. He knows the timings, yeah, absolutely. Now imagine if on that starport a reactor hadn't been created but a medevac had. At around this time, the drop would be coming into the base. So MVP showing what good game sense he has. Yeah, well, the reactor made on the, the uh, on the factory first. And switches, so. well, yeah. You get the idea. Yeah. He could have, you're right, he could have gotten the medevac out a little bit earlier if he wanted to. He is coming in with two, though. He's going to be ready. And Stim is almost complete. He might actually be able to, if he delays at all, he'll be able to Stim in. Keen is going to wait a little bit I too think, for Stim. To I complete. think Keen's going to wait for Stim, yeah. Yep. It's a, a smart decision. Getting plus one weapons as well, but I think he's going to try to just do a drop. Oh man, if MVP catches these medevacs, that is going to put him so wow. far ahead. This is so. Here comes the medevacs right now. No, they're not. Oh, they, oh, they, wait, no. oh, oh there they are. Oh, MVP's coming, no. waiting. Is he going to see it in time? He sees submarines. He oh, gets to pull back. No! He's going to lose the drop. Oh, oh. no! Medevac Destroyed. four marines goes down with no damage done. Yep. That was huge. That was very big. Whoa. And you know what? MVP has not seen on his vision. He has not. Okay, now he just scanned. Prove me wrong. But he had not seen a single building of Keen. It was pure star sense that led him to put his range yeah. back there. Seriously, he's just like, okay, I know at this timing on this map in these positions, chances are pretty good I'm going to be dropped. Move the Marines there. And he was right. So good. Yep, and he's going to get a medevac out to heal up those Marines that he stimmed, yep. which is going to be good. Since and putting up a sensor right tower now. as well. So now he's not even going to need to worry about keeping Marines up there. They can go wherever they want. Go wow. on vacation. They can go bowl, maybe. They can go bowl? Is bowling. that what you said? Yeah, bowling. Dude, I need to go bowling. I haven't gone bowling in a long time. Me too. Are there bowling? There's got to be bowling. There's one right somewhere. near uh, the studio, actually. Really? Just down the street. We should go bowling. Yeah, like if you go up to that main street, the other way and go like a couple blocks down it's right there all right it's very strange it has like six lanes uh -huh. each on four different basements whoa like you go down below this building and there's like four different basements which each have six lanes crazy they're like we don't have enough room for a bowling alley so we'll just put one underneath this office building yeah why not be cool if they had like glass floors you can see people bowling above you that'd be awesome that would be pretty sweet actually yeah um, but anyway, we got MVP pu push pushing out, rather, into the middle of the map, trying to take position, spreading his Marines, and then pulling them back again. Keen with two factories already, getting a lot of tanks. He's going to want to try to just basically outnumber MVP in tanks. Not a bad idea, but again, you know, in TBT, it does come down to positioning. As you can see, at the moment, worker count. About even. Yep, about even. MVP is just MVP. a few ahead. Ever so slightly, MVP going out with a drop as well. Flying all the way around, and there's nothing defending that Whoa, for Keen, yeah. so this could do some damage. Taking the long way around to avoid getting in the middle of the map, actually. Whoa, in the middle uh, of the map. Keen losing some stuff, and oh, that, that put him behind. Down. And now this medevac is going to come in there. There's nothing there. Uh oh. There's nothing to respond to this. His whole army's in the middle of the map. He's got a few Marines in the tank. And he pulls the SCVs very quickly, so he's only going to have oh, minimal Oh, a supply losses. drop on one of those supply depots. He's going to get taken out. And Two escapes, for the price of one. Escapes with all the Marines. MVP had a coupon. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Cut it out of the newspaper before he came. Yep. He's like, hey, if I give this to you, I can kill your supply he, depot. He had to evacuate that drop because of the Marines, so he didn't have time to cash in his, like, uh, dollar a pound boneless chicken, though. That's right. It's gonna get he like two use that of lettuce. Only had the two for one supply depot. Couple bottles of uh, and he's dropping Another again, drop. Actually. This time there's a tank ready though. Doesn't have to pick it up. He got his wallet at home that time. He had to leave his groceries at the aisle. It's so embarrassing. And now he's gonna go and drop to the third base as well. MVP yeah. putting on the pressure. Oh, dropping all over the, the place. Maybe. Oh, go get the Killing one. All right. Very nicely done by MVP, drawing forces back to the right and attacking to the left, taking position in the center at the same time to secure his third and possibly a fourth if he wants it. Now I want to talk about that supply drop a little bit because in general you don't want to have to supply drop. That's usually an indication that you forgot to build a supply depot, which we almost never see at this high level of play. Yeah. But then again, there are a couple builds out there that do rely on the supply drop. 
They aren't very popular, so I don't think that's the case here. But uh, yeah, maybe showing the nerves often, of Keen a little bit right now. Often in the late game, you see Terrans will have it sometimes if they yeah. lose Depots to a drop. In fact, there, there was a drop supplies. Um, oh, nice oh, drop from Keen. Thought. Nice, another drop over here. Some some Marines. He's going to kill a couple SCVs, prevents the mining time. And, and oh, MVP's going to take the advantage to go across the middle. Losing some stuff to those tanks. MVP's got so many units oh, right now. no. MVP falling back. Whoa. Actually, on the verge of victory, I'm surprised he didn't take out that last tank. Well, he's playing it safe. I like that. But gives him a supply lead. He actually tried to drop that medevac again while that was going on, actually, which is a really cool move. Yep. And there's a tank and Marines in the middle of the supply line. Uh, the tank's now been damaged, so the tank took it out, basically. So Whoa. nice move by Keen, keeping that one tank back. Might have been thinking he wished to head in the center, but in fact... Yeah. Help them out a lot. But very smart of MVP to do two positions at once. And MVP expanding again. He knows he's in a great position. Yeah. He's got the part of the map control that's going to allow him to take those. He's handled the drop pretty well so far. MVP uh, definitely showing us why he's uh, widely, widely considered the best player in StarCraft 2. Sieging up on the low ground. Wow, dropping into the main as Whoa, well. here we go again. And Keen's going to go for a Did counter drop to kind of base trade. Sensor tower's going to see it. And the turret. Oh, no. The turret is going to oh, just take out it. that medevac with half of its troops in it. But a lot of troops land still. He needs to move those Marines. And MVP going for the base trade again, attacking up the middle lane. And this one could go a little bit better for MVP. Oh. At each other though. But no Marines there to reinforce, so the tanks splashing each other. Yep. Tons of damage being done. Drop Keen, cleaned up. Oh, Keen leaving his. Oh, Keen just oh, let he all his medevacs, medevacs die. Over the Marines. He let them oh, die. That is going to make it nearly impossible for Keen to win this game, honestly. Uh, lack of multitasking, really killing there. MVP yeah. is now up 40 supply over Keen. That's actually Keen good. trying to charge down his ramp to retake control of his natural expansion, and he's it. going to with Got only enough. those tanks there. All right, drop in the natural though, or third base rather. But look at the middle of the map. Oh man, that is the, yep. the that second is. wave, the reinforcements, maybe the killing blow. Uh, MVP a little bit ahead in upgrades, I believe. No, actually a little bit behind in upgrades. It's like in the third Lord of the Rings where they kill off the orcs, and then, then the elephants show up. <laughs> like, great. That's right. That's right, but then the uh, then the ghosts of soldiers past show up. Legolas Marine is going to like run up the elephant tank and stab in the leg. And speaking of which, Whoa. lots of Marines trading fire in the middle. Tanks go down for both players. Keen having the first siege, I think. Keen! Whoa! Coming out on top, that Taking attack. Taking out that army. If he could capitalize on this, he might be able yep. to even things up, but he doesn't have enough to push forward into those oh, other two tanks. Oh, MVP dropping again. And MVP is going to be ahead in the upgrades as well. He's got three attacks for infantry, infantry going. MVP just finishing 2-2 two -two right now. Nope. Now that's Keen, actually, that has plus three attacks. Oh, you're right. Keen. Yeah. The upgrades Keen like again with the upgrade advantage. Um, whoa. Careful, Keen. Actually, Keen is lacking on armor, though. All right, so so huh. yeah, What's it's the plus account? it's plus uh, zero armor and two weapons for Keen, about to be three and two two for MVP. Harvesters are at sixty nine to fifty four in MVP's lead, so he does have right. that advantage. And critically, the fourth base, which actually allows him to utilize oh, those SCVs. The drop scan allowing MVP to know exactly what's coming, and Keen's just going to turn around. Sometimes this can be used as a bit of a diversionary tactic as well. I'm sorry, that was actually MVP. MVP scanning again to make sure that Keen's army is where he thinks it is. And he's actually got four medevacs loaded up now. And he's going to siege up and drop on what the high What is he doing well. here? Suddenly... He's going to try and go around the side uh -oh, and hit that army from the side. He needs to stim and go in and try to pick off those tanks. Good. He's going to drop on top of the tanks as well. Not enough Marines to pick off the medevac. Whoa. And all of MVP's tanks going down. Keen still at a supply disadvantage, but actually losing some stuff in the main at the same time. Yeah, a lot, actually. All right, Keen going for the counterattack, too. Decides to push it. Oh, and no. MVP has an army ready. Keen may be able to beat it, but he's going to take a lot of losses. No, MVP, I think, just lost oh, that game. Oh, command. There's the meal. There. GG. Keen, Keen rather lost that game. Whoa. Trading 
trying to trade, but instead of going for the main or something, he just did not have the forces to trade. And uh, actually flew some medevacs randomly into the Forces City main. And Keen, yep. unfortunately for the MVP team, is going to go down 3-1. to that. one, But he did a very good job and really yeah. showed that he was uh, not someone to be countered out completely oh, after all. Hey, guys. Yeah, there are indeed. And uh, here's us. Where? So, um, oh. right. I don't know. Oh, there we are. So, anyway. So, an exciting series. Yeah. MVP, and, and eventually, you know, the favorites taking it. There was a couple times when I wasn't sure, but the yeah. favorites, Bomber and MVP, taking their matches successfully. They are going to meet in the finals that is on going Friday. That is going to be amazing. That is going to be the wow. highest, possibly the highest level Terran versus Terran matchup this season. I'm including Code S in that. Yeah. Nada versus Top was pretty sweet, but I think Bomber versus MVP is going to be off I agree. the chain. I think both of the Terran players in the Code A finals are better. I think they're better than Nada and Top. It's true. <laughs> That's going to so, be so, so sick. Yeah. Let's take a look at today's match results, though. Of course, we had Bomber 3 1 against Slayers Ryung. Lucky Sox coming into play in a big way today at the GSL. And MVP taking down, or I'm MVP rather, taking down MVP Keen yep. 3 to 1 as well. Both of the underdogs taking one game at least, so they were not completely shut out. They have that for yep. their pride at least. And remember, tomorrow, the rest of the Code S round of eight, Don't or forget. part of it, um, it's going to be. It's going to be uh, Killer, Killer versus be Inca. Bottom, yes, yeah. the Killer versus Inca and Nesty versus Any Pro. Those gonna are going to be some games. sweet matches. Actually, those are going to be really yeah. good. Very, very, very high level players all around there. That's going to be so much fun. Yep. I'm going to be here. In I'm going to be here. watching more than likely. We're both going to be here. And uh, wow, it's good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, wow, thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Uh, it was a pretty awesome day of TVT. You know, yeah. a lot of people kind of kind of complain a little bit about TVT, but it's one of those matchups where it's got the most possibilities of different things you could see. You know, despite the prevalence of Marine Tank, we saw a lot of different openings today from each player. We saw a lot of different ideas and strategy. Ghost sniping. Yeah, we saw some cool. ghost sniping. We saw some nukes. Saw some battle cruisers. We did see a nuke. And um, I really think in Code A this season, it's been great because I feel like the. Uh, Best players so made it all the way through. It has been yeah. such an awesome season, and the finals are just going to be the delicious, delicious chocolate cream cheese icing on the cake. Making me hungry, man. I like chocolate cream cheese icing. We're going to have to stop and like, get a donut or something on the way home. Yeah. yeah. Donuts are definitely in order on we the way back. See, we have um, these, these hungry casting days where every between every break, somehow Moltraff and I keep talking about food. We keep talking about eating donuts or Zerglings yeah. or... Something zerglings, like man. That. Roasted zergling legs. A little bit of barbecue sauce on there. Teriyaki legs. With some buttered SCV on the side. <laughs> That's right. Um, anyway, Thanks again to yeah. Intel G Skill. Very, very awesome. And, uh, and uh, Coca Cola, Razor, our other lesser known sponsors. And um, yeah. Indeed. And uh, you know, I saw them part of the reason the why, there. I mean, Bomber actually, both MVP and Bomber, both of them don't just want to win the finals because then they can pick their group first. They are yeah. actually also both training for the Super Tournament. In fact, that's kind of what Bomber doesn't even care about Code S. He wants to get enough points to get into the Super Tournament right yeah, now, we'll which is going to be happening. I'm not exactly sure when in a, uh, the next tournament, I guess, is going to be the big one. Um, going to function sort of similar to the Open tournaments. So both players are not just going to be playing the finals to get that early pick, but they're also going to be you know, trying to posture for the, the Super Tournament as well. It's all about pride. Who's going to be the fearsome lion and who's going to be the gazelle running for its life through the Serengeti? Who is going to be the gazelle indeed? A gazelle very, would be delicious right now. Very important. You know <laughs> have you ever eaten gazelle? No. You have know, you eaten lion? I no, have not eaten lion. I have eaten pig's feet now crazy. though. Now that I've been yeah, in Korea. We've had some Korean barbecue had a lot of cool with pig's feet. Squid balls. Which are actually balls of squid. <laughs> I haven't eaten squid balls yet. It's not what you think. Personally. All right. Um, anyway, I do want to give one last congratulations to <laughs> Ryung and Keen. Both of them coming into basically a huge uphill battle. They did Settle a great down. job. I'm sorry. 
a huge uphill battle, both of them underdogs, and both of them coming in here probably lacking some confidence, playing against two of the better Terrans in the world, yeah. and still managing to show some great games to take a game off of Titans and yep. to really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some champions. So definitely um, proven to me at the very least that they deserve to be in the top eight here, deserve to be going to the up and down matches, and definitely having a shot at getting into yeah. code S, the depending on what their groups today. are. Those they underdogs will not be able to pick their groups, but they still have a chance. MVP and Bomber are going to be playing in the finals on Friday. Do Don't not miss it. Guys. Tell you all your friends. There. Tell your grandmother. Tell everyone you know to come out for yep. those finals. It's going to be tell awesome. Your husband, tell your wife. Bye, they turned off the lights on us.